Hi! Today I won't be making a soap. No, no, I will be making a colorant to use for soap with cochineal, Veronique Ambre, a very good uh, soaper and alchemist from France who gave us a tutorial with just a picture and I decided to, uh, to test it and make a video while testing it. So that's the video today, we'll make that colorant together. So let's go right now in the kitchen. Here is what we will need. First a pan to heat the water. Water, uh, Veronique in her tutorial, tutorial told us to use pure water. Here the water is hard and I'm, sure, I'm not sure that is, it is so pure. So I will choose to use demineralized water today for uh, that. And of course, uh, cochineal. I bought mine uh, through a friend who traveled in France at Les Couleurs de Garance. Uh, I know there's a place, uh, I will put the link in Canada. A preservative for aqueous solution. I have Coast Guard here. I bought it in Aromazone in Paris. A bottle to store the colorant in the fridge. A strainer and a container to receive the strained liquid. Uh, I will do three baths, so every time I will put in the same uh, container. Okay, uh, here a pestle, and uh, this cloth is just to not damage the top of my stove. So, and the pestle is to crush the dry cochineal, and at last, the um, cheesecloth for the last train I will do. And in the tutorial, Veronique didn't give us any measure, so I will create a recipe today, live, with you. Let's go! Okay, this contains a third of a cup. It, oh, oh boy, 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 it might be too much, huh? So, no problem. Let's, I will change and take a quarter of a cup. Yeah, that's, that's much better. And uh, this is my first try, so let's be uh, reasonable. <laughs> oh, it might be too much, but uh, okay, this is it. So, I will uh, make room to bring my pestle closer to me. And now I, I will crush those cochineal. transfer the powder in the pan like that and um, it's a bit expensive so we don't want to lose a drop of it I rinse it with water look at that just a minute I will pour it in a glass container to show you <gasps> look! isn't it beautiful I haven't started yet and it's already amazing with the color Woohoo, I'm so happy. Oh, and I might as well use it. So I said I used a quarter of a cup of dry cochineal. Uh, oh, wait a second, I will take this cloth on the fire. That's not a good idea. Okay. Oh, so here I have two cups of water. It's 500 milliliter. It might seem a lot, but it will boil and it will evaporate. So I will leave it for a good, bring it to a boil and leave it for 30 to 40 minutes. And uh, I will come back uh, after this time. So as you see now it's boiling, I will just turn down my uh, heat a bit. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I'd say the liquid has decreased by half right now. So I will strain this 
and I will start a new batch after. Here I have another two cup of water, so I will bring that batch again to a boil and cook it for another 30 minutes. And I'll be back! Time flies, it's already been another 30 minutes. So for this third batch I added only one cup of water and I will go for 20 minutes. ta -da! Already 20 minutes so I will uh, strain that. So this will go directly in my uh, compost. So now I will strain with the cheesecloth uh, before I cook it uh, for a uh, uh, good 40 minutes. And uh, oh, I, I did a mess over here. So, okay, let's pour that. So you see that it's a fine, fine, fine powder. It would have been through the strainer, that's for sure. So it's a good thing to use a cheesecloth. Okay, so now I will cook that for a good 40 minutes or until it thickens a bit because for the moment, look, it's very, very clear. I will just clean a bit before uh, I leave it to cook and uh, oh boy, it really looks like there was a fatal accident here. Woohoo! Okay, it's been uh, 20 minutes now and uh, there must be about one cup left so I will stop the boiling here and I will strain that through uh, cheesecloth again because there are some bits in it. I just want to make sure that there's no unwanted particles remaining in my liquid. Oh boy look at that isn't it beautiful? So I started with two cups the first boil, two cups the second boil, one cup the third boil, and I ended up with one cup. So that would be 500 milliliters for the first boil, 500 milliliters the second boil, 250 milliliters the third boil, and I ended up with 250 milliliters. So that's the liquid I will put in my bottles, in my bottle, in my bottle here. Oops, I forgot the preservative. I weighted my liquid and I have 200 gram total. They recommend 0 0.6 gram or 19 drops of Coast Guard for 100 grams of liquid. So I have 200 gram, I will put 1.2 grams or 38 drops of Coast Guard in my liquid. And 38. Oh, I think I put 39. Ooh. So I will mix that very well and I will pour it in the bottle to go in my fridge. I am uh, mixing it, I will add vinegar and wow, look at the color, it turns like a very flashy orange, very beautiful. Hmm. And in this one I add baking soda and look at the color, it turns, turns more violet. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? So I'll show you both the one with the baking soda and the one with vinegar. Two different color, but very beautiful, both of them. It's now time for you to make your own and I want 
to give my many, many, many thanks to Veronique Ambre, an incredible woman, super teacher, mother, who knows everything, a ton of interesting stuff, and generous enough to share it with us. So thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, watching and commenting. In my next video, I will be making a transparent or more translucent soap with that colorant we made today. Woo! And uh, until then, have fun, soap a lot, wash a lot, and see you then! Bye-bye!